I've been talking about this 10 week Photoshop course that I have opening for enrollment and the enrollment is already open and I am so, so excited. This is my annual Photoshop course that allows you to learn how to use Photoshop, not only for gift illustration and for mock-ups, but I also teach you how I design my fabric collections from the ground up. So we walk through the entire process of learning Photoshop from the very, very beginning, even to just opening it up. And then we go into using my art process called Spark, learning how to design fabric collections, recolor them, and even show you how to put it on different websites like Spoonflower and how you might mock up your files for social media or your websites. I go into so much detail in this class. It is, it is really, really fun. And I've had so many students come through this class saying that it's actually changed their life in a different way for each one. And that just makes me feel so special. And I'm like, okay, then I'm here for a reason. Let's do this. So this is the third year and it's really, really exciting because the class just keeps getting better and better. And now I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about it. Okay, so for 10 weeks, me and my team hold your digital hand and guide you through every step of learning Adobe Photoshop. So these are just some of the things that are included in the class. So we have seven modules that have a ton of videos in them. And we have three implementation weeks with guided support. So we have a community that you can join and that's actually on Circle. It's not on Facebook or in Kajabi where the classroom is. And this is a place where you can ask questions and we have a ton of alumni there to help you with all of your needs. Then I'll be going live every single week for all 10 weeks, helping you along the way. And even if you can't make the live, not only is it pre-recorded, but you can also submit questions ahead of time and they'll definitely get answered by me. All of our content comes with closed captions. It comes with searchable content. So if you're like, oh, I have like a hundred videos to go through. I can't remember where she went over the clone stamp tool. You can totally search the clone stamp tool and then find the, the right video for it. I have been working in this industry for a very long time. So I have tons and tons of information that I just love to share with all of my students. And it makes me really, really happy to do so. This is simply the most in-depth training for Photoshop in the surface design industry. You will not find this class anywhere else. I have been working in Photoshop for about 20 years now, and I have literally packed this class with everything that I know. So we have your back, you have full support from me, and I am just so excited to show you Photoshop because it is awesome, as you already know. So the biggest hurdle with learning Photoshop is just feeling overwhelmed. So I've actually simplified this entire process for you. So you don't have to go, you know, stitch together 20 YouTube videos to figure out how to create a repeat that has like a seamless texture in the background and elements on the top. So just little things like that, that really, really make a big difference. I've done a lot of footwork for you. So I basically, I'm just like, here you go. This is, this is a really great way to do that. And you don't have to go find it on your own. So the other fun thing about this class is that we follow my process and it's called Spark. It's a, it's a art creation process that I've come up with. And I basically walk you through how to ideate for your collection. So how to brainstorm and come up with the idea and then how to go from that to a finished collection. And I even teach you how to self critique your collection at the end and different design principles in order to help you figure out what it is that the collection still needs or what can make it even better. So if you're interested in doing this for a living, all of the industry loves to see different collections. They wanna see holiday collections. They wanna see Halloween. They wanna see, you know, fall and spring and just the themed collections. Not only that, but thinking in collections is great for the fabric world. So you know that I work for Ruby Star Society designing fabric collections. And we think in collections, we create themed, you know, collections all the time, and we recolor them in three different colorways typically. And I also teach you how to do that. So, you know, if you've got a piece of artwork and you're like, this is, this is uh, really exciting, but how can I get a couple more uh, options out of it for clients? Or maybe you're trying to appeal to a certain audience. So basically recoloring is super important in the industry and we go over so many different ways to recolor things in Photoshop. So these are some of our guest speakers and I am super, super excited about this. 
I, that's one of our favorite things about the class is having guest speakers come in and whether it's a Q&A or even an art demo, we get to see how other people work and how other people think that are leaders in the industry. And of course, Ruby Star Society will be coming too and that's one of the funnest uh, you know, talks that we have. All five of us are there answering questions and talking about the creative process. It's very fun. And I wanted to go through student art with you because I want you to know that, you know, you've seen me work, you know that I've been doing this for a while, but it's like, okay, but what can I do with this? And I want to show you some of the beautiful work that my students have made. So this is Audrey Mann's, uh, just a sampling of her collection, and she's actually landed a fabric job uh, getting paid professionally to design fabric. So that was something really exciting that happened after my course. We've got Becky. Becky has been going to town making collections, and it's so exciting to see her paintings come to life on fabric. Becky uh, paints on canvas and does gallery work. So seeing that work transfer onto you know, patterns and different products is just super thrilling. More from Becky. Like I said, this is like a whole new collection that I just got to see recently. I'm so excited. And then we have Sarah Price, beautiful collection, beautiful color palette. In the left image, there's some beautiful, really subtle watercolor textures in some of the leaves that really shine when you see it up close. Uh, Melissa, okay, so Melissa knows that I always bring her up, but um, Melissa has one of my favorite stories as one of my students. She basically came into my class not knowing how to draw, is what she said, and she just like put her head down and did the work. And she just started making the coolest stuff in my class. And the whole community was like, this is awesome, this is awesome, this is awesome. Melissa has just been able to figure out a way to get her work to be really beautiful and shine really well in collections. And she's now out pitching to different companies and also just won a really awesome award at a festival that she has her artwork in. Then we have Jane. Jane actually works with me. Jane is, I can't even begin to tell you how much I love Jane. Uh, it's gonna make me cry a little bit, but she has just, an awesome vision for her artwork. And I actually hired Jane after getting to know her from the first year that I ever did this class. And I couldn't, I couldn't believe how amazing and how self-sufficient and talented this person is. I just, I love Jane. And of course her fabric designs are amazing. So check these out. I mean, again, Jane somehow like working full-time for me is still cranking out collections on the side. And I think that really says a lot about how digital art can kind of be more efficient because you can take things that you've slowly created over time, whether it be in your sketchbooks or you know just things that you've painted uh, or even things that you've created in Procreate, you can take those things and then compose them into an entire collection because it's really more about having individual elements that you can later compose into beautiful repeat patterns. So. It's, it's really interesting like how much you can actually do, even if your schedule's really busy, with making pattern design collections. We have Esther, and I just love seeing her artwork come to life on fabric. She works in so many different mediums, and the work that she was putting out in her class was really, really exciting. And not only that, but I love following Esther because she actually lives in an RV and travels the world. And I just think that's so awesome. She's living the dream and she's been able to make tons of surface pattern design collections on her stops along the way. So just imagine like that could be an option. Like if you have a laptop and access to Wi-Fi, like you can figure out how to make this, this path work for you, even if you're on the go like that. So again, we went over possibilities, but I just wanted to remind you some of the things that you can create with your artwork. And I know that it's hard for a lot of people because they get into this industry and they're like, oh my gosh, there's so many people already doing this. There's, it's hard to get companies to pay attention to my work. And it's, it is, it's very hard. And I will be the first to tell you that none of this is easy. And that's okay, because isn't it fun to be challenged? And isn't it fun to, to you know, have hardship and then overcome it? So where I was going with that is that 
Even if a company isn't producing this for you through licensing, you can use print on, de on demand websites to create a lot of these different products. So you don't have to wait for the perfect art director to come and see your work, just, just make it. You can totally make it. They have websites where you can print things and put portfolios up and people can buy it. And you might be thinking like, yeah, but I don't, you know, I don't know what my, my story is or if anybody would wanna buy from me. And to that I say everyone, literally everyone, has something special to offer to the world. And there are people out there for you. Like the coolest thing about the art industry is that uh, small boutique audiences are the way to go. So if you're someone who's like super into just drawing cakes, you can find an audience that wants to follow you drawing cakes. So if you, if you doubt yourself in any way of like, can I do this? Like, I don't know if I can do this. Like there's just so much good stuff out there. The answer is yes, and especially when you put the hard work in and you're consistent and you keep showing up, you can do this. And again, if you go into fabric design, can you imagine seeing people that you love wearing your fabrics? These are my daughters, Willow and Violet, and this is my birthday collection that I designed for Ruby Star Society. And we had someone sew up the Oliver and S cartwheel dresses, and here they are wearing my fabric, and it's just, it's amazing and it makes me want to cry. The other exciting thing about this collection is that I used very uh, simple designs for this collection. I wanted it to be very minimal and very fun and bright. And so I, I can't even tell, like, I think I used like three sketchbook pages to make this collection. And I was able to preserve that texture and see it come to life in Photoshop. Portfolio enhancement. I mean, hands down, even if you work in other programs, Photoshop for your portfolio is amazing. Like I said before, this is actually all a mock-up file. So these pieces are not sitting on a wall. They're all digitally created to look like they're on a wall. So you can make, I mean, this, this would make a great portfolio spread and it was all done in Photoshop. Not only that, but people make this easier for you. So there's mock-up files that people have created over the years to make things like this just totally seamless. Why learn with me? So this is my opportunity to brag about myself a little bit, and I know you know I was gonna do it just for a second. Um, but I have a lot of experience. I literally knew I was gonna be an artist when I was like three years old. And I know that sounds very like, yeah, right, really, but I'm not even joking. When I was growing up, art was the thing that helped me. Um, we struggled a lot financially. We moved, I think, 20 times before I was 18. Both of my parents struggled with mental health and my dad was also disabled from a motorcycle accident. So I, um, when I say that art changed my life and it helped me to literally survive, it really did. And I knew, like since I was a kid, that this thing that I did that helped me to create, you know, imaginary worlds to live in, you know, when things got hard, I was gonna do this for money when I grew up. I knew it. And I've been obsessed with it since I was a kid. And so honestly, like, went straight into a two year program in high school that was uh, focused on communication arts, which is like an old school term for, you know, graphic design. And I have a BFA in illustration at Ringling College, which is one of the most prestigious art schools in the country. And 20 years of Photoshop experience, 16 years in Adobe Illustrator. So if you're coming from Illustrator, I got your back. I totally use both programs. They're both amazing. Um, just a lot of experience. You can read the list, but I, I think the biggest thing is that I focus on helping you build collections and portfolio pieces. I teach design principles and how to train your eye for design. So that is one of the biggest things whenever you're going into this world is you kind of have to have good taste and you can do that. You just have to train your eye to see like what's working, what's not working. You know, is a color palette too muddy or is it working really nice together? And I go over so many things like color theory and you know, and composition and finding things in your your fabric designs that are not necessarily working, but if you tried this, this would be really great. Um, so basically a lot of self-reliance and self-critique skills. And I also challenge, empower, and love and encourage my students. 
Like I said, I live and breathe this and I love it so much. I'm here to stay. This is what I'm doing with my life. And yeah, it's exciting. So from here, you're probably like, okay, Sarah, how much does this cost, right? Like I know that that's the burning question that we all have. And it's 997, as in, yes, 997, almost a thousand. It's an investment and it should be because this is something that's going to really propel your career forward. It's one of the things that it's, you have to have a digital program under your belt in order to get your artwork onto any product. So whether it's passing through Illustrator, Photoshop, Procreate, it has to go digital at some point if you want to be able to upload it to print on demand websites, you know, if you want to be able to send portfolios to different clients, you have to learn at least one digital program. And just to give you some perspective, my degree from Ringling was about 120,000. I still have student loan debt, uh, totally worth it. I'm one of those people that needed to be physically in art school because I needed to, you know, learn things that weren't my home life. So uh, it gave me an experience that was just very special and I, I really needed that personally. But now you can totally get an entire uh, career online and you don't need a degree. You don't need, you know, uh, I've never had a client ask me for my BFA or a certificate or anything. It's not something that matters. What matters is that your artwork looks stellar and that you're consistent and you keep showing up. And you gotta be fun to work with, or at least nice. <laughs> Um, but anyway, you can check out the enrollment page. It's from painttopattern.com and all of this stuff is laid out there in even more detail in some ways. And of course, we have three options of payment. Pay in full will give you an extra course. And then we have a three month plan and a monthly plan. Okay, so this is my parting message. If you're hesitant and you want to do this and there's this fire inside you that's just like, gosh, I want to learn this so bad. It's so exciting. You got to do it now. You have to start wherever you're at. You have to honor your skill set where it is right now. You don't have to wait until you know how to draw or you know how to, you know, um, do all these things or you have some clients under your belt or you have a social media following or anything like that. Like you literally need to put your artwork out there and keep doing it. You need to keep doing it and get better and better over the years. And I just think that, you know, if you're, if you're stalling for any reason to start this journey, or if you're in the middle of this journey and feel uninspired, just know that the biggest thing is put it out there, make the work and show it to people. And over time you'll get feedback and you'll get, you know, confidence and it'll take time, but you can totally do this. And class starts August 30th. All of the details on when the class is and how much it costs and what, you know, what, what's in the syllabus, you know, all of these things are included on the enrollment page. It's from painttopattern.com. You can also email us at school at craftedmoon.com if you have any questions. So I want to thank you so much for coming to hang out with me and letting me, uh, you know, be a nerd with you about all of the different things that Photoshop has to offer and how excited I am to share with you any kind of art knowledge that I can. <laughs> um, okay, well, I think I'm done talking now. And again, just if you feel like any kind of like, yes, maybe, yes, maybe, yes, maybe, I'm just going to be the one to say you should totally do it. Okay. All right. I'll see you later.